YouTubers! Well, in this video I'm going to be showing you some other things that I do besides painting. Um, as some of you know by following my Instagram, uh, I also do, I make cushions and I also do customised caps. Uh, because I love wearing caps of all sorts, shapes, colours, that sort of thing. So I thought I'd show you four caps that I've created. I've also started to do commissions for caps as well, so I've got three commission jobs that uh, are in process. So anyways, so I'll show you just the, these four that I have here. Um, as you know, Star Wars was pretty big. Uh, recently with the release of uh, the latest Star Wars film and so sort of everyone's gone crazy with Star Wars stuff so um, I, I made this cap as uh, my homage to Star Wars and it's pretty much got all the characters on it and I kind of made it a two-tone so I did this really nice blue going up to this really nice gold and yeah, it has all the all, all of the main characters. They're all plastic, so it's all pretty light. Um, and I'll just put it on. And it's really cool. I think it's awesome. I love it. Um, so I've actually got a couple of commission jobs to create other ones of Star Wars characters. And um, the latest one that I'm working on is all the characters are a lot smaller. And they want them in sort of like a shiny black and a gunmetal two-tone colours. So that's the Star Wars cap. Um, so happy with ha how that turned out. This was my first cap that I made. Um, and um, it's basically all blue really. There's a couple of tones of uh, blue in it. But yeah, it's just got a whole lot of different figures got a gun, a dog, it's got a bug, it's got a couple of googly eyes, a cockroach. Um, this was a really f fun piece to make and I guess where I got the idea for these caps was I'm really interested in the American um, club kid scene where fashion and art and dance sort of uh, is like really really interesting to me especially in New York and you know, I follow a few people on Instagram that are a part of that scene and it's great to see their art become parts of their, their clothing and it's really interesting. So this was kind of um, my version of that because I really like the idea of wearing baseball caps but with sort of embellishments on them. So this, and because there's so much involved and lots of, go, lots of things going on on the caps by just spray painting them all the one color or a couple of colors it kind of makes them uh, makes it more of a cohesive piece and it doesn't stand out as much yet when you actually look at it you can actually see all the really great details uh, of it so that's my reason for doing everything in one or two toned tonal colors so it's not over the top you can actually um, you know, it's actually toned down, which is what I like. So that's that cap. Um, then the second one I made was this one. This time I glued in lots of little eyes. I'm not sure if this cap's finished yet, but I'm pretty happy with the majority of it. You know, there's a rose. There's a rose there. Once again, it's got a mixture of different animals. There's a rabbit, a rooster, a fox and a gun and another another bug which I like um, and the centipede and then this stuff which is like um, really light aluminium now these are all really light they're either plastic or really light materials so they don't actually weigh hardly anything so it, they don't weigh your, your head down at all um, they don't feel heavy enough you could actually like I feel like you could wear it out and not feel like it's, you know, pulling your face off um, or giving you a facelift, which may be a good thing. So that's that cap. Um, now this one was um, was a takeoff on Australia Day, and it's got everything typical to an 
to Australia Day in a lot of ways. So you've got your thongs, you've got your barbecue, so you've got your fried food, you've got your fly that's always, yeah, hanging around, um, tomato sauce, and then you've got your utensils and more thongs up, more thongs up the top. So yeah, so this was a bit of, this was a fun cap to make and it's great to wear on Australia Day or even at a barbecue. It doesn't have to be um, Australian thing, although thongs are very Australian in a lot of ways. Thongs, flip-flops, whatever you want to call them. But yeah, so that was a great piece to make. And once again, all very light, lightweight um, and spray painted it this really nice blue, uh, which I like as well. So once again, and you know, you can wear them, you can wear them any way you like. You can even wear them, a lot of people wear their caps to the back like that. So you can just go like so, which is cool. So, you know, you don't have to be, it doesn't have to be in your face. It can be subtly behind you. So people that walk behind you can actually see it, which is cool too. Um, and that's the four caps. I, I have made another one with superheroes, which I'll put a picture of because I don't actually have it because um, that was a commission job which uh, the, uh, the owner now has. Um, I'm working on another Star Wars cap, like I said, and I'm also working on... Um, a lady wanted a Lotus-inspired... Oh, sorry, a yoga-inspired cap. So I'm going to put a lotus leaf on it. She said she wanted someone in a pose doing the downward-facing dog, but I actually thought of getting an actual dog figurine and turning it upside down. So it's like the downward-facing dog um, as a reference to that. And maybe a yoga mat or, or some sort of Buddha or something that's sort of spiritual, represent, like has that representation of spirituality. Um, so they're a lot of fun. But anyways... So I'm selling those caps for $60, 60 Australian dollars, um, not including postage if I have to send it. So if you want me to commission, um, if you want a commissioned cap, I should say, um, and you have a theme and an idea, get in touch. I would be happy to have a talk to you about what style of uh, design you'd like and, and we can put something together. And yeah, it usually doesn't take me that long once, once I get the idea going but um, they're a lot of fun and you don't even have to wear them out like I display them on uh, on my stand um, I have a shelf that I put all of my caps um, and they look great as just a just a talking piece um, so anyway so that's all I wanted to show you that but my cushions see I'm also making cushions so I screen print them all got a sewing machine see Taking sewing at school was handy in high school. Um, <laughs> that's the only time it was ever handy. So yeah, so I made this this one a, f a fair while ago. Um, this was one that I made recently. I just like these two types of fabrics, and I sort of like hand painted a design onto it. Um, so they're also fun. So I put them up for sale from time to time as well. Um, but other than that. That's all I've got for you for today. Hope you're having a great week slash weekend. We have a public holiday here for Easter. Well, most people probably do. So we've got the Friday and the Monday off, which is great. So it's a four day week. And um, I'm going to be making art. I'm going to be going to the gym. And uh, yeah, thanks for all the comments. It's so good to be back and it's so good to be um, have you guys uh, commenting and being involved in um, videos, my videos again, uh, because it's just inspired me to want to keep making more videos now. And now that I'm actually into the flow of making videos, um, you're going to see a lot more. But once again, I'm on Snapchat. Details down below. Um, what else am I on? I'm on uh, Twitter, Periscope. Um, and Facebook, obviously, um, my website links below. Anyways, that's about it. I'm in some upcoming videos. We're going to be doing, well, I'm going to be teaching you, um, how to, we're going to be doing an abstract landscape course over three videos. So we're going to be doing in the first video, we're going to talk about concepts. 
um, and how to formulate some ideas about making an abstract um, around my theme of abstract landscapes. In the second one we're actually going to be making it and doing it and working on it and then finally the third video is going to be about critique and uh, finalizing the artwork and knowing when when it's time to stop and all that sort of thing. So I, I just thought that'd be a, that'd be a, a bit of fun and those of you that want to do that mini course you can and those that just want to watch can um, but I think it's a great way to for me to share with you guys some of my thought processes about how I create a piece of abstract art from uh, beginning right through to completion. Um, on that note, I've got to go. Later.